Hi guys, I'm Johnny Chivers. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a data engineer with over 10 years experience working Monday to Friday in the financial services sector. I'm five times AWS certified and I like nothing more in my spare time than making videos for my YouTube channel and passing on that knowledge. So in today's video, we're going to cover what is AWS in 2021. Well, to understand what AWS is, we first need to understand the history of AWS. So the history of AWS, AWS stands for Amazon Web Services. It's brought to us by a global giant, Amazon. And as we know by now, Amazon's an e-commerce platform that we click online and it delivers straight to our homes. Started by Jeff Bezos in the 1990s, they had to develop some new technology that had never been used before. So him and the boffins at Amazon set about work, creating tech that they needed to make their fulfillment centers, delivery network and online website work. I'll actually put a link into the video below and you can see how the AWS technology work inside one of the Amazon fulfillment centers. And around 2000, they thought, wouldn't it be nice if we packaged some of this technology and help the people trying to sell on Amazon? So they did that and it was such a success. By 2002, they thought, well, maybe we could package some of these tools and services and sell them on to other businesses that want to use web technology, but not necessarily the Amazon platform. So they did this and in 2002, Amazon Web Services was born. Fast forward till today, Amazon turned over $17.4 billion in 2020. So back to the question, what is AWS? It's an online cloud-based platform that provides us with services and tools on a pay-as-you-go model. But what are these services? Well, there's quite a lot of them now, but they mainly function around compute, storage, databases, virtual desktops, chatbots, workspaces. The list is actually endless, right up into AI and big data. I'll put a link in the description where you can go see them all listed on the Amazon website, and you can take your time and see what works for you. But how does this all work? Amazon has a global network. It splits the globe into regions. Within these regions, there is AZs. There's at least three AZs per region. Think of an AZ like a data center. So when you select a service in AWS, it could be in one AZ or it could span multiple AZs within a region. For example, EC2, which is a compute service inside AWS, will function out of one AZ or one data center. While something like S3 will actually replicate the object that you store on its system across all three AZs or a minimum of three AZs in a region. So you have failover, redundancy and high availability straight out of the box. But why use AWS? Well, let's look at a real world example or a made up real world example. Let's say I have a startup company selling t-shirts. These t-shirts print slogans based on an AI algorithm on what the user inputs into a questionnaire form that we provide when they're at purchase time. So before I would have to go out and buy servers, put them in a data center, put the code onto the servers, buy more servers for my backup and ensure all the networking is in place for that user to get to my website. Worst of all, when I launch, I could have really high demand. My website could go down because I don't have enough capacity. AWS removed this issue completely. You can start small and scale up because you only pay for what you're using. There's more server capacity than I could ever need and their global network ensures that the infrastructure and networking I need is in place all the time. But it's not just for startups, it's for mature companies too. For example, if I was a mature company and I wanted to run a complex AI algorithm once a month, before I'd have to go out and buy maybe 30, 40, 50, 100 servers to run this algorithm, but I'm only using them once a month. So they're sitting going to waste 99% of that month. This is known as a CapEx spend or capital expenditure, where you're paying for infrastructure up front that depreciates. AWS offer an OPEX model where you pay as you go. So I, as the mature company running that algorithm once a month, will only be paying once a month for the infrastructure I need. Therefore, the return on investment is high. Okay, but what else can I use AWS for? Well, it's not just purely for web services. I've already hinted at the AI element of what big mature companies can use it for, but it's also a great place just for storage, virtual desktops, chatbots, 
customer relations, email, web conferencing, and the list goes on. The possibilities are endless. And with that pay-as-you-go model, it means that anyone can access it and get started. That's what this channel is all about, teaching the fundamental skills of AWS and getting the knowledge out there. So I'll leave it here for now. Please check out all our videos on my website, www.johnnychivers.co.uk, where I make all the information on AWS for free. And until next time, thanks for watching.